Hey guys, welcome back to the Commercial Law School. Today, we will be talking about some of the different types of law firms that you would expect to find in London. This video will consider the Magic Circle firms, the Silver Circle firms, and some US international firms. Today, we are joined by Jonathan, who is going to tell us a little bit more about Magic Circle firms. Hello, my name is Jonathan, and I am a future joiner at Allen & Overy. And today I'm going to tell you a bit about the Magic Circle. The Magic Circle is an informal term used to describe five London headquartered firms which are generally thought as the most prestigious. Those five firms are Allen & Overy, Clifford Chance, Freshfields, Linklaters and Slaughter & May. And there are four main reasons as to why those firms are given that distinction. The first is size both in terms of the number of employees they have, but also the number of new trainees they take on each year. These firms take on a considerable number. The second reason is salary and revenue. Again, these are consistently high um, for all five firms. The third reason is expertise. They are heavyweights in both corporate and banking and finance, but they also have um, among them, a broad expertise in areas like tax and intellectual property. And the final reason is the impressive client base. Um, they take on the most impressive, the largest, the most successful clients, and that can lead to quite thrilling work. Although the Magic Circle firms share a lot of commonalities, they are not all exactly the same. For example, Slaughter may have only four offices compared to Clifford Chance who have 35, so it's important to do the individual research for each firm. Next, we are joined by Brackney, who is going to tell us about some of the key characteristics of Silver Circle firms. Hi everyone, I'm Brackney, and this summer I completed a vacation scheme at McFarland, which is a Silver Circle law firm. The Silver Circle is an informal term that's used to describe a group of law firms in the city. Ashurst, Brian Cave, Leighton Paisner, Herbert Smith Freehills, McFarland and Travis Smith. The term was coined in 2005 by the editor of The Lawyer at the time. These firms can be distinguished because by ma from Magic Circle firms sorry, because their turnover is a little bit lower than the Magic Circle firms. However, compared to the UK average for other law firms, their profit per equity partner and their revenue per lawyer is consistently very high. This means that they attract a very premium and high quality client base. These firms are all different in their own way, however, there are a string of commonalities that links all of them together. These include a relatively lower trainee intake to that of the Magic Circle. In addition to the Magic Circle, they have an international outlook and also they're very reputable for their training. Therefore, an individual might want to apply to these firms because the quality of work at the Silver Circle firms is similar to that of a Magic Circle firm. However, the trainee intake is a little bit lower. Like with Magic Circle firms, the Silver Circle firms are not exactly the same, so that extra level of research is needed again. Also, as Brackamy mentioned, there is not a massive difference between the Magic Circle and the Silver Circle. And finally, we are joined by Deborah, who's going to tell us a little bit more about international... Hi, my name is Deborah, and I'm going to be talking to you today about US firms. So US firms are an option that I think aspiring solicitors should definitely consider for three reasons. Firstly, responsibility. So US firms usually offer a lot more responsibilities to their trainees very early on in their career. And this is usually down to the fact that they take a smaller intake of trainees per cycle usually. So if you're someone looking for more independent and challenging work very early on in your career, then US firm might be for you. Secondly, the international approach in many US firms is attractive. Not only do they usually have major offices in London and New York, but they usually have established offices around the world as opposed to satellite offices. So if you're someone looking for great secondment opportunities and working with multiple jurisdictions, then a US firm might be for you. And lastly, remuneration. So most people know that the pay in US firms are significantly higher than many other firms. I'll take you back to the price war that happened between virtually all the Magic Circle and Silver Circle firms. And this was actually down to the American rivals. So again, if you're looking for much higher pay very early on in your career, then a US firm might be for you. Thank you. Again, 
not all international law firms are the same. For example, White and Case recruit 50 trainees per year, whereas Deschert only recruit 10 trainees per year. So these are just broad categories, but there are other characteristics that make each firm unique. Here is a recap of some of the things that you should consider when researching law firms. These broad categories enable you to write a checklist of all the things you're looking for in a firm, which will help to narrow down your applications. Additionally, whilst we have only considered three types of law firms, there are regional firms like Osborne Clark, niche firms like Wigan, and smaller commercial firms like Peters & Peters, which you might want to research about. And ultimately, it is important to know how different firms are categorised because at the interview stage, interviewers often ask about the firm's competitors or where else you have applied to. If you can show that the firms you have applied to share common characteristics, it shows that your applications are focused and also well researched, which is admirable. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next week.